Good morning to those of you who have come here today to worship in the house of the church. And to those of you who are at home, uh, who are watching now or at some uh, time in the future, uh, we are here to celebrate the uh, final Sunday uh, in Advent. Uh, oftentimes called Mary Sunday uh, because we uh, look at the anticipation of Mary's birth at this time. I want to just tell you that Cindy is continuing to recover at home and uh, we wish her all the best and keep her in our thoughts and prayers uh, as she recovers uh, and look forward to her returning soon. Uh, th this week is Christmas, uh, and traditionally we have a, a wonderful uh, service, actually a couple of them, uh, on Christmas Eve. This year we're going to have one time together, and that's at 7 p.m., and it's going to be uh, a huge bonfire, I understand. Not, we're not burning down the building, but hopefully. But we are going to have a big bonfire, and uh, we ask everyone uh, who wants to attend uh, to come, bring flashlights and um, uh, candles. Uh, it is uh, uh, restricted by number, but fortunately we can have 75 people rather than uh, the usual 50 or less. So uh, we will be outdoors. Bring your mask uh, and um, bring your uh, celebratory uh, feelings about this place and, and uh, the birth of Christ into our lives. Um, and uh, let's see, uh, we are going to have one more uh, bell uh, uh, musical uh, instrumentation in just a moment. Uh, we will later on uh, during the sermon, which I am not giving, even though it says I'm the preacher today, uh, we are going to have the children's uh, uh, pageant and uh, it has been pre-recorded and a big screen will be materializing magically uh, up front here. And for those of you at home, uh, you will be able to see it on your screen as well. So with that, we will continue our worship. Uh, silence your phones.
Let us stand for worship this morning. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Purify our conscience, almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for the readings. that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed. And through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. Amen. If you would please join me in reading Canticle 15. The canticle shall be read in unison. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us stand. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Christ. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. 
He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Please be seated. We are now waiting for this magical screen to come forward, and we will then partake in watching the children's pageant. Welcome to our Christmas celebration. Let us pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for your gifts of hope, joy, peace, and love. These gifts are ours because you sent Jesus, our Savior, to us. Be with us now as we worship you for giving us so many good gifts especially the gift of Jesus. Amen. O Israel, put your hope in the Lord, for with the Lord is unfailing love, and with him is full redemption. He himself will redeem Israel from all their sins. The Lord is good to those who hope, whose hope is in him. God answered their prayers in just the right place. He sent a response in a sweet baby's face. His son, the world, the, the world Savior, came down came down to the earth and slept in a manger on the night of his birth. The fourth Noel, the angels do say, was the star temple shepherd in fields as they lay in fields for them.
those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree ordering that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone had to travel to his own town to be counted in the census. So Joseph left the town of Nazareth in Galilee and went to Judea and Bethlehem in the town of David, who was an ancestor, his ancestor. Joseph and Mary went to Bethlehem to register. They were engaged to be married. Mary was expecting a baby and she was due to give birth any minute. While they were in Bethlehem, the time came. Mary gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in strips of cloth, following the custom of that time. She laid him in a manger, manger because there was not room for them in the inn. joy came from heaven that night as angels told shepherds who shook with great fright rejoice behold for the world's savior is here he lies in the manger come see do not fear shepherds were living out in the fields near bethlehem keeping watch over their flocks each night suddenly an angel of the lord appeared to them god's glory shone all around them they were absolutely terrified don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. The angel of the Lord proclaimed good news of great joy, which is for everyone, the angel proclaimed. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Here is a sign to help you find him. The baby will be wrapped up in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Just then thousands of God's angels appeared all of them praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and peace on earth to those who know his favor. Then the angels left, going back to heaven. The shepherds looked at each other in excitement. They said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see what God has done. Then the shepherds went quickly to worship him there, then left him to tell the others they just had to share. So the shepherds hurried into town. There they found Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus too. He was lying in the manger. Then shepherds went back to their flocks, and on the way they told everyone they saw about the angels and about the baby. Everyone who heard it was amazed. The shepherds praised God for everything that they had seen and heard, because everything happened just as the angels told them it would. Then wise men came later to worship their king. They traveled quite far and had gifts to bring. This baby so little gave wise men gifts too. Gifts not just for the magi, but for me and for you. One day this dear Jesus would die for our sin. He'd rise from the dead and give us deep peace within. Some time later, the magi followed a bright star from out in the east. It went ahead of them and stopped over the place where Mary, Joseph, and baby Jesus stayed. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. Nearing the holy place, they saw Jesus with his mother Mary. They bowed down and worshipped him. They opened the treasures they had brought with them. They presented him they presented gifts to Jesus. Gold, incense, 
and myrrh. We celebrate Christmas because in Jesus our Savior, we have true peace. Through Jesus' life, death, and resurrection, we have the peace of God's love and power brings into our lives right now, today even. And we have peace knowing that one day we will live together forever with Jesus in heaven. his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. The Bible tells us every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. Lord God, help us share your good and perfect gifts, especially the gift of Jesus. Help us tell our families, friends, and everyone around us about the love, joy, and peace you sent down at Christmas through your Son, Jesus. Let us please stand and recite the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
On the third day he rose again. In accordance with the scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshiped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For this Advent season, let us offer our prayers to God, saying, Lord, have mercy, that our gracious Savior may rouse us from sleep and make us attentive to the nearness of his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that we may discover God's word in every sound of this world, God's touch in every human embrace, and God's love in every gesture of self-serving, of self-sacrifice among us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy, that divine energy and holy grace may bring our hearts to vigilance and make us see with uncovered eyes the Christ who suffers in his people's agonies. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, Lord have mercy. mercy, that we may come to recognize in our holy assembly gathered for prayer that Jesus the Christ is with us, here to make our songs of praise and pleading his own. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord, have mercy that God's coming into the days and years of our human history may be always new, always brimming with light, to drive all darkness away. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the special needs and concerns of this congregation, for those in need of healing, Andrea Dent, Billy Carter, Polly Kane, Robbie Gerald, Gary Miller, Helen Waldron, Aidan Brooks, Cynthia Taylor, Mary Moose and Harrison Reed. For those who are homebound, for the safety of those who serve abroad, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Lord, for all the blessings of this life, for those celebrating birthdays, Lori Burkhead Morgan and Pam Coffey, for those celebrating anniversaries, for our partnership with Martinez Elementary School and the Claiborne at Westlake and for the 45th anniversary of Scotty Need's ordination to the priesthood. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We pray for all those who have died, especially Sidney Morgan, brother of George Morgan, including those who have died of COVID-19 this past week, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor and glory of your name through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ and strengthen you in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Uh, please be seated just for a moment. This being uh, the 45th anniversary of my ordination, uh, that many years ago, wow. Uh, one of the things I wanted to say to you, uh, first of all, is that uh, this, uh,
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because you sent your beloved Son to redeem us from sin and death, and to make us heirs in him of everlasting life, that when he shall come again in power and great triumph to judge the world, we may without shame or fear rejoice to behold his appearing. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, 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 Lord God of power. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation. In the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all, in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days, you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him, you have delivered us from evil, 
and made us worthy to stand before you. In him, you have brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. On the night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray you, gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of body of Christ and his blood of the new covenant. Unite us to your Son in his sacrifice, that we may be acceptable through him, being sanctified by the Holy Spirit. In the fullness of time, put all things in subjection under your Christ, and bring us to that heavenly country, where with all your saints we may enter the everlasting heritage of your sons and daughters, through Jesus Christ our Lord, the firstborn of all creation the head of the church, and the author of our salvation. By him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia. Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. The gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving.
quick to make love and hate